What is going on guys, Joel here, back with another city tweak and in this video we're actually going to be talking about a city tweak called Lock Glyph. Now Lock Glyph is a pretty cool animation that you usually see when you pay with Apple Pay on your iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Now if you haven't checked out Apple Pay in action, I actually have a video that I covered Apple Pay uh, in actually two videos uh, that you can go ahead and watch that uh, where I actually demo it in store and purchase a few things and i have to admit apple pay is pretty legit uh, but if you haven't checked that out go ahead and check it out i'll leave the links to those videos down below in the description but with this city tweet called lock glyph you will be able to have that apple pay animation on your lock screen which looks pretty cool uh, now you do notice that of course this is gonna have to have touch id so you will have to have a device that has touch id in order to take advantage of this tweak here now lock glyph is actually free which is cool uh, but what it does, as you noticed, um, it gives you that little Apple Pay animation and that little sound. Uh, but if we go into our settings, we'll be able to change a couple of settings on here. So in the settings here, you'll be able to enable and disable the tweak. So simply by switching that off, uh, you'll be able to disable it just like that without having to respring your device. And down below that, we can enable the unlock sound. So if you actually get tired of that, I actually did. Go ahead and disable that feature there uh, when you unlock your device each time. Now down below that, we can use the tick animation. You can turn that on or off. And then under that, we have the faster animations. Now I recommend using faster animations because as you notice, let me go ahead and enable this. Um, and as you notice here, um, it does take a little longer than your regular Touch ID would. Uh, so that is one downside of Lock Glyph. It takes like a probably a split second or almost a full second for it to unlock your device. That is one disadvantage with this tweak, but we'll go back to that here in a second. Uh, you can also change your idle color. If I go ahead and go into idle color, uh, you can change that to whatever you like. I actually have it black as you notice. So this is gonna be the idle color. This is gonna be it right here. So when it's idle, uh, it'll be black, but I have red as the actual scanning color. So you can put it to any color just by sliding these RGB sliders right below that. Um, or you can actually add the hex color if you are, uh, if you know the hex color, you can go ahead and set the hex color there um, if you know those. But I just use the little RGB sliders right below, uh, which is a lot easier because it gives you a sample of what the actual color is when you're tweaking it, as you see here. So yeah. I have it red and black because those are probably my favorite colors as you probably have noticed. But below that you'll be able to reset the colors to default and under that it does have some text saying use faster animations uh, will actually unlock Lock Glyph a lot faster. So if we actually compare Lock Glyph being enabled and disabled, you will notice like I mentioned earlier that it does take a little longer to unlock your device with Lock Glyph enabled. So I would say that is a disadvantage with this tweak. Even though this tweak is free, which I haven't mentioned, uh, you can actually find this in the Big Boss repo from the developer Evil Goldfish, and it is available for free, so you can check it out. I think it gives you a cooler look on your lock screen. Uh, I'm actually a fan of it. So if you do wanna go ahead and check it out, go ahead and search it on the Big Boss repo, and it's called Lock Glyph, and you can find it for free from the developer Evil Goldfish. Anyways guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. It's a very basic tweak but it gives it a cool new look on your lock screen. But as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Not only show support to the channel, but it lets me know that you are enjoying the videos. And also, if you're not yet following me on any of my social media, like Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Facebook, all of that, all the links are always down below in the description, so go ahead and follow me on those. And if you have any questions or anything, Twitter and Instagram are probably your best bet. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my future videos, including jailbreak tweaks and other reviews on tech products and gadgets. All that good stuff, guys. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.